Hey guys, I'm Antonio Felice Costa. I drive for Tipaguri here in Formula E. And today I'm going to talk to you about the fundamentals of setting up a race car. What is understeer? What is oversteer? Welcome to race school. So a perfectly balanced car is very rare in, in this sport. And believe me, because I've been pushing my engineers very hard to get one. Basically, what you get the most is understeer and oversteer. If we start with understeer, uh, it's basically when you're trying to go around the corner and you're facing where you want to go, but the car doesn't really turn. You know, the front axle not really performing as you want to. And oversteer is the opposite. So the rear of the car is very loose. You turn in and you lose it straight away. And then you have to compensate with the steering with your feet and you end up losing time, not really putting the car, hitting the apex and having the, the exits you want. So basically bottom line, understeer is when you hit the wall, facing the wall, and oversteer is when you hit the wall, rearwards to the wall. Okay, so some drivers like to have a bit more of an understeery car and some drivers like to have a bit more of an oversteery car. I cannot deal with understeer, especially in, in tracks that you have kind of long corners because I prefer to have to control the rear of the car with my feet and, and hands uh, than just rather wait for the front axle to grip and, and hit that apex. So it's a little bit driver dependent, but uh, we have drivers that can be quick with understeer and drivers that cannot be quick with understeer. So it can also be uh, very track dependent. It really has to do like how much you have to break into the corner. If you have a very loose rear, then it, it makes it very hard to carry that minimum speed into the, into the apex of the corner. You have to compromise sometimes as a driver to what the track needs to be quick, to what the car needs. With your engineers, you end up trying to find that best compromise for that day in that track. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little bit more about understeer and oversteer and I'll catch you next time.